What's going on, everyone? This is Mitch with SC Weather. Hope y'all been having a great Sunday. Uh, here for another weather update, our daily update. And we're going to talk about what the model's been showing today, what we are starting to really believe, how February is going to end, maybe a quick peek at March at a system that may bring in the month of March. We're going to talk a little bit about that um, and just really talk about what there is to talk about because uh, the craziness of weather that we've had, there's been a lot to talk about basically the last two months. And honestly, uh, we're getting kind of at a slow period for now until something pops up. Um, but there is some things to talk about, so we're going to break everything down. If you guys have not subscribed, I definitely consider doing that. If you're someone who watched my videos and just have not committed to that subscribe button, it's a great and awesome way to support me. Uh, like the video if you like it. Um, and also, you know, just keep in mind that these videos will get better for the future. Uh, Wi-Fi will get a little bit better. The connection will. So, uh, you know, if you watch this and your first impression was like, dang, you know, this guy doesn't have the the best setup, uh, things will get better. So I just appreciate everybody in my uh, weather family, if you will, for uh, uh, following along and just thank you all for the incredible support. Also, I like to use my platform as a way to glorify God. Guys, if you have anything that I can pray about, I've seen people really take advantage of this and I, it's really awesome that it's uh, definitely connected with some of you guys. Um, if it's an unspoken prayer, if it's something you want to put and describe in the comments so other people can reach out to you. I've seen people do that in the comments. Definitely do that. I would love to pray for you um, individually, all of y'all. So uh, definitely, definitely consider doing that if y'all have things going on. And I would love an opportunity to do that. So let's get into this. Let's uh, talk about the weather here, what there is to talk about. First, first off, there's going to be a system moving through. Uh, it's starting to really get cranking up this afternoon, this evening. And here it is. It's just a system. Moving through, it's going to bring some rain, basically rain for areas who saw a lot of snow and ice. It's going to be all rain, and it's going to be snow for areas that normally see snow this time of the year, Pennsylvania, New York City. Uh, but this is going to be a quick hitter, and I want to back it up here. You aren't going to really see it much, but uh, there is a little bit of ice that we have to worry about, a little bit of some soundings action. And uh, here we go, uh, 29 degrees here in the uh, higher elevations of the mountains. Uh, that is a big time freezing rain sounding with uh, a warm nose basically popping up above 32 degrees above the surface. So that's a freezing rain sounding. So you definitely have to watch out for some quick icing uh, tomorrow morning, overnight tonight into tomorrow morning for the mountain, the high elevations. It's not going to get into the triad of North Carolina. It's not going to be any icing there at all. Uh, but definitely some quick hitting icing for those areas and, and definitely up into the mountains of Virginia and maybe some uh, quick snow, West Virginia, areas of far northern uh, Virginia. It might be a quick event and even Maryland. So a little bit of winter weather, but it, it's not going to be really a storm. It's not going to, well, it's not going to be a major storm is what I'm trying to say. And the snow gets pretty close to the big cities, but it doesn't quite make it. And then it moves on out. And this is just the NAM. Every, every, everything's different. But check out this little line the NAM wants to try to form here. And uh, you look down here, the, it barely rains in South Carolina. So it's going to be hit or miss. Uh, I think everybody will see a little rain across the eastern U.S. or snow, but not really a major system or anything. Uh, but, you know, you go to the next run, and I want to show you all the, the National Weather Service what little bit of ice it shows. It just shows some glazing and the higher elevations uh, that we have to watch out for. Uh, definitely this area near Saluda, um, North Carolina. There, there's a little area right here just south of Asheville that's always uh, really favored for some icing. Um, and then just areas in the mountains of North Carolina. N not a big deal at all, really. It'll melt off quick. Uh, this is kind of the rainfall for the system. For This is precipitation. So, you know, about the highest I see is maybe a, a, a three-fourths of an inch to an inch of uh, liquid. It's just not a big-time system at all. But uh, snowfall, several inches maybe in the interior northeast, not a big deal at all. And nothing that y'all aren't used to. So we're going to start looking time here. So let's back it up here. Here goes that system right there. It gets going. So the system I've been talking about a little bit for Friday, here it is. It's still there. Uh, but the the cold push of air, you got high pressure now wanting to be scoot off the coast of New England here or the mid-Atlantic. It's not really a favorable position at all. You kind of need it sitting up here and you need a little bit of a stronger high pressure. And it's just getting into late February. Climo-wise, climate, it, it's just not that much uh, it's not as favorable maybe it was maybe 
I don't know, maybe maybe in January. But honestly, that doesn't play much into it. But it's just little things that do. So, the, the worst case scenario, as of now, this is just a GFS, and the Europeans kind of the same. Uh, maybe some snow for overnight Friday into Saturday in the mountains, and then it quickly turns to rain according to the GFS, and it just turns into a really a storm. The Europeans a little bit different for you guys in the interior northeast, but then again, it, it doesn't look like anything crazy is going to happen at a location that um, isn't used to whatever weather this brings. So looks like rain. Now, I, I'm going to be honest with you guys. Next weekend, it's not going to be as nice as this weekend. I don't really think for the entire eastern U.S. I think this storm system is going to kind of linger around. You might have more Gulf moisture that kind of shoots up um, along the trough here. you got kind of a zonal flow. Um, and then uh, we have to watch out a big storm here. I know I don't talk about the upper Midwest a lot, but there is a big trough coming down. And this storm, this is the storm that's going to come up, say, uh, the last day of February. It's going to get cranking into March. And I really think this could be a big storm, potentially. Now, this is still several days out for the Midwest. And we're going to watch it. Looks like a big-time trough digging down, a pretty strong high pressure moving down, and just a big-time cold front. But check it out here. The trough's digging. you got low pressure riding around the trough. And this is a... This looks like a quick hitting trough. It doesn't look like a kind of a, it doesn't look like a super long period of cold air that comes with this. It's just a quick hitting, you know, uh, cold front. But this could bring potentially severe weather for the southeast, maybe mid-Atlantic. That's a lot of heavy rain, heavy precipitation right here. But we don't know that right now. It's, there's still a lot to figure out. But it, it definitely kind of potentially has that anti-front look to it. When I say anti-front, guys, that means it's basically a trough. With um, it's cold air chasing moisture kind of deal, but it normally doesn't work uh, east of the Appalachian Mountains. But basically, th this looks like a powerful storm. I don't know how this is going to work out, but you know, you can tell that this is a powerful storm just by looking at it. Big old trough digging here. It's digging out west, which a lot of times, sometimes, not a lot of times, but sometimes can mean severe weather for the southeast. So we're going to watch that. It moves through, and then after that, it just kind of gets into la la land. It's not a whole lot to talk about, but. The um, EPS ensembles here, temperature anomalies, you know, you get warmer than average. It really gets going, but it, nothing's too crazy out there. We're getting into the late week. Um, it's going to be a mild week for the southeast and eastern U.S. Uh, compared to average. But what happens after that? What happens next weekend? Was there going to be a big-time system that gets going somewhere? I don't know, but maybe the beginning of March might be looking warmer than average proportions of the eastern U.S. Where we're going to... We're going to kind of watch that, but that's what the National Weather Service is seeing, too. They're really liking the idea that it's going to cool down out west and warm out, warm up, up for us guys in the east. Uh, this is the 6th day temperature outlook, the 27th of this month through the 3rd of March, uh, showing a good chance for above average temperatures. You look at the 8 to 14 day range, and that's basically the first uh, seven days of March. Same kind of deal. Colder in the west, warmer in the east. Um, so we're going to watch to see how that forms. As far as uh, severe weather, there's nothing. Uh, potential's too low. There's not even a threat anywhere. And even in the one to three day range, there's not really anything but a general risk of thunderstorms in Texas. So nothing big is really going on right now. There's not a lot, a lot of action going on, which is probably a good thing because the last couple months, there's been some crazy weather, especially what just hit Texas and Oklahoma and Arkansas, Tennessee, and places like that. But even though winter weather, uh, <clears throat> this is probability of a quarter inch of liquid equivalent to winter precipitation. I mean, there's they're just, you, you see little areas of green, but uh, that's not any area that normally doesn't already see winter weather. So not a lot to talk about right now, guys. That's why, uh, you know, I mentioned that in a video, just... Uh, thank you all for the support. Um, we're going to keep monitoring weather. I'm going to keep updating every day. Um, but for now, uh, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. There's not a whole lot going on right now. So we're going to enjoy this break, enjoy this mild week. We're going to have a little system that moves through tomorrow. It's going to be wet and damp. But after that, we dry out again uh, for the eastern U.S. So thank you all for tuning in, and you all have an awesome and blessed Sunday evening. Thank you all.